So uh, Perm syndrome is a rare plasma cell dyscrasia characterized by an underlying uh, plasma cell disorder and uh, the other mandatory criteria is a uh, demyelinating polyneuropathy uh, and there are various other major and minor criteria. Being a rare disease we often see that patients are diagnosed very late in their treatment course and unfortunately have uh, undergone other uh, treatments directed at um, typically a condition called CIDP for peripheral neuropathy um, and um, for this reason patients often present unfortunately quite disabled at the time that the diagnosis of Perm syndrome is made. Um, it is a disorder that affects younger patients than uh, the multiple myeloma cohort um, and which has significant uh, long-term implications in terms of patients function and ability to return to work for example. In terms of advice for clinicians uh, we've, um, our group has published some uh, findings that suggest that all patients who have a peripheral neuropathy, a demyelinating and peripheral neuropathy should have immunofixation and VEGF testing at the diagnosis in order to try and expedite the diagnosis and facilitate timely treatment. Um, and uh, other recommendations I would make uh, would be to uh, involve a perm specialist early on. Um, although the treatment um, algorithm is similar to that of multiple myeloma, there are some important differences uh, and it's really important to intervene early in terms of uh, optimizing uh, patient performance and function. And uh, my final recommendation would be to be very vigilant in terms of the thrombotic risk in this patient group. We know that about a quarter of patients have thrombotic complications, including BTE and stroke. Uh, and so um, uh, at our institution, we use uh, anticoagulation with apixaban and an antiplatelet agent, usually clopidogrel, uh, early on in the, uh, in the diagnosis until, um, uh, until the VEGF, which is a mark of the disease, is normalized.